Thousands of people in Howard County are going to bed tonight without drinking water because of a water main break. Hello, everybody. I'm Kelsey Kushner. Those impacted by that water main break are mainly in the Elk Ridge and Long Reach areas. Good news, though. Crews are working to fix the issue tonight. Jessica Albert is live from Howard County to tell us when that water could be restored. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Kelsey. Howard County Executive Calvin Ball says about 100,000 people are impacted by this water main break, but he says luckily most of those people will have water restored by midnight, and he says that when the water does come back, it will be safe to drink. A drinking water main rupture at the Elk Ridge pumping station in Howard County, leaving thousands without water Sunday. Howard County Executive Calvin Ball says his office first learned there was an issue from residents on social media around 3.30 Sunday afternoon. Shortly after, they found the ruptured 36-inch water main, which provides service to about 100,000 customers. Crews responded quickly and switched the customers impacted over to an alternative water source. There are two tanks. That it actually fills Skaggsville and Snowden. The Skaggsville tank is almost full, and the Snowden tank should be full uh, by midnight. County Executive Ball says once the water is restored, it will be safe to use. Since the tanks never were completely empty and didn't lose pressure, there's no need to boil water. However, there are three houses that will likely have to wait a little longer for their water to be restored. Executive Ball says those houses should get their water back in about two days after a contractor repairs the broken water main. Those three residences are directly tied to the water main that was ruptured, whereas the others we were able to reroute to those two tanks. And crews are working to find out what caused this water main rupture as they work to repair it tonight. The county says that if people continue to experience issues with their water after it was supposed to be turned back on, they can contact the county by sending them a message or by calling the Department of Public Works. We have that information for you up on our website right now, WJZ.com. Reporting live tonight at 11, Jessica Alford for WJZ.